king tide is moving a lot of water inland, creating headaches and really heartache for people living all along the intracoastal. Some say this is the worst they have seen in years. News Channel 5's Alana Quillen joins us now from Delray Beach, where homes have taken on water. Alana. Well, guys, I'm on one of the hardest hit streets near Atlantic Avenue in Delray. The King Tide, just in a matter of hours, actually took all the water here on the intercoastal, picked up some of this Irma debris that's still left over and filled this entire roadway, including the yards here, several yards away over to the houses here, filled the whole first floor with water. Poor woman here had to pump a lot of that water out of her house, and I'm told it's supposed to get even worse this weekend. I love this street, but living on Marine Way in Delray Beach comes with a cost. We've had flooding issues throughout the years, but they seem to be getting worse. This week's King Tide has filled the streets and homes with water. It's annoying, but you know, it's part of uh, what you do when you live at the beach. You know, years of high tides have made the house in front of Ed Fitzgerald unlivable and it uh, destroyed the floors and got uh, mold in the walls and stuff like that. And debris left over from Irma is washing into unwanted places. It would be nice if they would clean up the rest of the hurricane debris so it doesn't scatter all over the street. The fix is a new seawall. The city told me designs have been approved, but more permitting is needed before construction can begin. Not only hurry up on it, we've been told nothing about where they are. Eugenia DuPonte is running out of patience. She reinforced her home by raising it up five inches. I can't build a seawall. I cannot build a seawall, and the city really needs to help this street. It's been totally neglected for 30-some years. Now, the city told me they are working with the Army Corps of Engineers for that seawall project, which can definitely add to the time it'll take to complete. Now, even though the full moon is tonight, the peak tides will happen on Sunday morning. So that that king tide usually lags behind the full moon by a couple of days. So you'll definitely want to be cautious while driving around near coastal roads this weekend. Live in Delray Beach, Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.